So if you use Now TV or Now as it's been rebranded, you're probably already aware that there are some changes coming along in the middle of July 2021, which in some instances bring down the price you'll pay. But for a lot of people, could well mean you're going to pay a lot more every single month because you might feel you need to spend five quid a month on something called Now Boost. Now Boost will give you full HD. It will let you watch on three devices at the same time. So if you were sharing it amongst your household and also it means you don't have adverts. You think, hang on, you don't get adverts anyway. Well, they are being rolled out. I'm already getting them on my Roku device, um, but I'm not getting them on my Samsung TV. And other people may well have had them on mobile devices since the early 2021. It's gradually been adding them in. You will now be getting adverts. So if you want to avoid those uh, on your programming, and if you want to be able to get that better picture quality and the ability to watch it with more than one device at the same time, something you used to get for free before we included in the passes, then you'll need to look at now. So before we get into this, uh, exactly what it is, and I think a way that you might be able to bring that price down, at least in the short term, uh, let me quickly explain what all the changes that are happening. First up, the Entertainment Pass and the Kids Pass are being merged together, and the price will stay at the Entertainment Pass at price of $9.99. Now, if you were getting both of those beforehand, you're going to save some money, which is good news. If you were just getting the Kids Pass, then you're probably gonna have to pay $9.99 for it. There might be some legacy offers where if you already have that kid's pass and you haven't cancelled it, you've still got it, they might let you have the full pass at that lower $3.99 price. Um, but it really depends if you're already paying for kids or not. So that's happening, that's staying at the same price. Uh, the another one is the Sky Cinema Pass. That one is going down by two pounds a month from $11.99 a month to $9.99 a month. Now, I think a lot of the reason they're doing that is because there are no new movies. For the last 16 months or whatever, there've been hardly any cinema releases, so they haven't filtered through to watch on Sky Cinema. So you don't really get much for your money. You're watching old stuff, which is great, but in terms of those new releases, they aren't there. So I think that's partly why they've lowered down that price. Now, as I've said before in a different video, do check this out. You never should pay full price for your Now memberships, your Now passes. There are ways to bring them down, get a discount, pretty much every single month. And one of the key ways to do that, as I detail in the other video, is to go to cancel every single month. And then generally they will offer you a deal, at least on the entertainment and the cinema passes. Doesn't really happen so much with the sports passes, although it's not unheard of. Now there are no changes to the other passes. Sports are still staying pretty much the same. Just uh, day passes and just month passes still. The weekly pass hasn't returned. Um, and the Hey You Pass, the reality TV show uh, pass, that one is staying the same as well. So they haven't changed as well at all. The other big change, as I mentioned at the top, uh, is that you will no longer be able to watch uh, the Sky passes, whichever ones you've got, sport, entertainment, cinema, whatever it is, on more than one device, unless you pay for Boost. Now, Boost has been around for a while at three pounds a month and um, previously it did the things that you know gave you let you watch it on three devices rather than two so you could share it with an extra person and it let you have full hd now i've never really bothered with it yes it would be nice to have that picture quality but to be honest i've not really noticed that difference when watching shows like mayor of east town or modern family or whatever it might be it hasn't really made too much of an impact so i've i've kind of avoided it and i've already been able to share it if i needed to on more than one device but the addition of adverts I hate adverts. I really, really hate adverts. If I'm watching anything on Channel 4 or ITV or Channel 5, I will record it and then watch it later on, on Fast Forward so I can skip it all to so the Bake Off or whatever it might be. No adverts for me. So then being introduced to now is a really big frustration for me. I'm already paying some money, albeit less than the full price. I'm already paying for this. I don't want to have to uh, sit through adverts on top of that, which means Boost suddenly becomes something which I might want to do. Similarly, if I'm watching the football, if Crystal Palace are on there, I like to share that so my dad can watch it as well. So this sort of thing, £5 a month up from the previous £3 a month is a lot of money to add on to a pass. And if you're doing that and factoring it all together, it suddenly kind of thinks, is this actually a better option than Sky TV or Virgin TV? Getting it from there where at least those things are included more or less. And you can haggle around the deals and it becomes a bit more sort of tenuous, a bit more sort of touch and go, but whether Now TV actually is better. Of course, this is based on you paying full price for everything and having multiple passes. I still think, as I detailed in another video, that cancelling Sky TV and Virgin TV and replacing it with Now will save you money in the long term. But I had a look the other week. I went in to cancel my pass that was due to end in a few days' time, and I saw an extra option that related to these new adverts. So let's have a look. I'll show you. This is what came up for me, which meant that I can get boost, not a five pounds a month, but a one pound a month for the next six months. So here's my entertainment pass that I've got open. Uh, this membership on now, it's gonna end on the 10th of July, 
uh, I don't want it to carry on, it's going to hit cancel. And normally when you do this, uh, you get some options. And here we've got some different options, the normal ones, you can't afford it, nothing to watch. I've watched everything I'm interested in. Those kind of things, if you click on those, you're likely to get offered a discounted pass. No guarantee, but normally they'll say, hey, have the same pass, but we'll give it to you at half price or a third off, or maybe even more than that if you're really lucky. But here's a new one. I found ads too disruptive. And this is because now has started or will start adding in uh, adverts on passes without Boost. And Boost costs five pounds a month. Uh, currently three pounds, but from the 15th of July, it'll be five pounds a month. But look at this here. This is a new option. Uh, and obviously I've not seen this before. This is giving me the option to get six months of Boost for one pound a month. So I will pay six pounds for six months rather than five pounds for one month. Now, I'm not someone who carries on having Now TV every single month. So you could say I'm kind of wasting my money to pay six quid for this. But if I have it three months out of the next six, then I will be saving. I'll be paying equivalent of two pounds a month. That's still much, much better than that five pounds a month. Now, I don't know how long this kind of promotion will carry on for. It could be this is a constant thing they now. They keep doing this. They'll keep doing this because they know they want to get people onto this package. And obviously they hope that people aren't going to cancel it and they'll keep paying the full five pounds after the six months is up. But it's not a bad option. If you are worried about this and you don't want to pay the full option, you want to be able to uh, stream on more than one device once, you want to make sure you don't get those adverts, then this could be a good thing to try out. And of course, if you go through with this, you can still go back and still cancel your pass if you don't want it to carry on and see what options they give you to maybe save some money on that regular price. So there you go. I can't guarantee that you will see this option when you go to do it. I can't guarantee this is going to be on for the longer term. It might just be when they're making these changes to try and get people onto boost in that first instance. But fingers crossed, they'll treat it in the way they treat other passes. If you go to cancel it, they'll offer you a discount. Now, yes, it is adding on money to the passes you buy and it does make now TV uh, less attractive. But one of the things I always say with now TV is, don't stick to it for the full year. Unless it's something you absolutely are watching every single week religiously, this is the perfect opportunity to do it in sort of bite-sized chunks. Have it for a month. Binge the shows that are on there, then cancel it until there are new shows coming along. There's not, There are some fantastic things on there still. You still get some really good shows, particularly on Sky Atlantic, but you don't necessarily get the quality and range that you used to get that require you to have it all the time, particularly when you compare it to the things that are popping up all the time on Netflix and some of the shows you get on Disney+, Plus, particularly as Marvel and Star Wars ones. So there you go. Hope this was useful. More information over on the blog plus. I've got all those tips and tricks, any special offers I find to help you get those Now TV passes for less. I will link to that below. I'll link to it up here. So click through and see what the latest deals are. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell to get all the best videos that I do about personal finance and money saving. And if this video has been useful, please do hit that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know, are you going to stick with now with all these changes that are coming along? Have you seen this offer to save money on Boost when you've gone to cancel? My name's Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers. And here are a couple more videos you might find interesting.